So I'm going to be talking about some brand new revolutionary stuff that has never been seen in Call of Duty before that they are putting into the next Call of Duty, in particular the multiplayer which is interesting and um, it's basically just going to change everything, it's going to change a lot of things and people in the past have criticised Call of Duty of being a bit too uh, samey, a bit too predictable but you definitely cannot say that of the next Call of Duty because the changes that they are making they're going to absolutely totally revolutionise everything and it's going to make it feel fresh. Now there's a number of things that they're doing this year to make the game feel different and um, especially in multiplayer because that is the thing that people play for the longest in Call of Duty I guess. The single player campaign is amazing while it lasts but like I said it is only while it lasts. It's normally only uh, 8 to 10 hours long at best. The multiplayer is where most people and why most people buy the game and I guess that in that respect it's one of the most important parts of the game. So this year they're bringing some brand new core mechanics and features into the next Call of Duty and on top of this they're actually building it on a brand new engine which is the first time in seven or eight years that this has ever happened so it's going to feel a lot lot different but I'll talk about that in, in just a few minutes but first of all these new features which we're going to be seeing um, we saw a lot of them in the single player trailer of course they looked cool and, uh, and different but a lot of people were wondering whether these features are going to make their way into multiplayer themselves and so if you can't remember these features there were things like the super jump there were also grappling uh, magnetic gloves there was also optic camouflage which basically uh, merged humans and planes into the background making them virtually invisible and they also spoke recently about the ability to hover in midair for a short short amount of time um, so all of those new features are in the single player side of things that is what they that is what they basically said and shown in the trailer as well also not forgetting the exoskeleton suits which give people um, a little bit more endurance and power and strength whilst playing as a character in the single player side of things but as I said people wondering is this kind of stuff, technology jumping, the super jumping, the ability to climb up buildings going to make its way into multiplayer and um, Sledgehammer Games have actually come out and said that they are bringing some big experiments to the core mechanics that will affect multiplayer so um, these big experiments that they're bringing to the core mechanics of multiplayer, basically the core gameplay, the, the stuff that the, the whole gameplay of multiplayer is built around uh, they're bringing some big experiments to that so you can only presume that that means that some if not all of those those things that I've just mentioned will be in the multiplayer um, I would guess the jumping might be I would also guess that uh, some form of climbing up buildings a little bit might be in there I don't think they'll have everything in there I don't think they'll have the invisible cloaking tech where you can basically turn your character invisible because I think that would be literally just ridiculous I also don't think that the uh, the exoskeleton suits which give you extra strength and power and endurance will be actually in the multiplayer they may be in as a kill streak but I don't think you'll see everybody running around uh, with these with these suits on because again I think they'll be a little bit too overpowered I think the jumping and the climbing up walls will be in the multiplayer and it will be in the core part of the of the multiplayer experience but they will be kind of dumbed down a little bit from uh, from the single player maybe in the single player you'll be able to hover and uh, and jump a lot higher buildings than you will do in the multiplayer maybe I'm wrong there um, maybe they'll just design the maps around this this new jumping and climbing ability which will be cool but the fact of the matter is that they are bringing some big experiments to the core mechanics of multiplayer so we're going to see something new you would presume by that that they mean those uh, those abilities that they showed in the single player trailer uh, moving into the multiplayer basically and uh, testing out how that is going to go down it's going to be pretty interesting how it all plays out um, but I also spoke about at the start of the video a brand new engine now ever since the days of like Call of Duty 2 they've used the same engine which has basically just been tweaked or changed or added bits to um, but at the end of the day it's been the same engine um, just modified for the different types of games for the Treyarch and the Infinity Ward games um, but now according to Sledgehammer uh, Michael Condry has actually come out and said that Advanced Warfare is being built on quote a new engine and the main reason for this is that this is the first game which has had the three years to develop the game which is one year longer than any of the other games um, so they've basically had time to make their own engine and uh, make it tailored to what they want for these brand new mechanics which I've just spoke about all these jumping and different core mechanics of the game which are going to make it feel a lot different in that respect it's not such a surprise that they have made a new engine because it is vastly different from any of the previous Call of Duties. I just hope that they can get that Call of Duty feel and not, not make it feel foreign to 
to uh, the Call of Duty players. Like I've said in previous videos, it's alright bringing all the new stuff in, but it has to feel like a Call of Duty, otherwise there's no point in, it, in, in the new stuff being in there. There's a difference between making new stuff and adding that into the game, and basically just making a new brand of game. And they need to strike the balance between the two. But that is all the information I've got for you for now. I've got another couple of videos coming up in the next few days, so stay tuned for them. If you haven't subscribed already, Make sure you do so or you'll be missing out. Thank you for watching, guys. 